Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, uh, hi, everybody. Uh, English uh, uh, 2 for uh, non subject spe specialists for the medical students at uh, Tripoli University. Welcome to the third class. Marhaban bikuk al hassa al tharika. Today, we are going to start with, um, with a new topic, which is about skin or human skin. Uh, before I start, I, I did some research about the human skin, and uh, it's one of the amazing things that if, uh, if you look at here, if you look at this, uh, we say uh, diagram in here on the left side, it's one of the most uh, significant and amazing things of the human body, which covers uh, our bodies, and uh, for if your height is uh, 182 centimeters. That means you have your skin, the square al masaha is 1.8 square meters. So that's almost two meters, two, two square meters. And the weight is about 14 kilograms. And if a person is around 150 centimeters uh, height, is about almost 1.5. So it's, uh, it depends on if you are 100, one, one meter 70 centimeters, that means uh, it's about square meters, 1.7. So this is a, a huge area, actually. That's a, like a blanket covering our body. Today, inshallah, I'm going to start with the, uh, the topic of skin. And as usual, after we finish the skin and we are going to have some grammar and then the exercises then inshallah to answer your questions if you have any. Now let's start with the topic. This is your topic. If you open your books or your, uh, yes, that's the, this is the uh, chapter three. And you can see here we have some, uh, we say uh, some, uh, Photographs, we have skin here, some vocabulary. So you have to check the glossary and uh, you have uh, contusion, you have acne, you have poor, uh, you have epidermis and we have abrasion and other issues, inshallah. We are going to talk about them while we are going to listen to the, as usual, we are going to listen to the, um, uh, the recording, and from the, this recording, we are going to learn how to pronounce and how to communicate using English language. Okay, now let's start with the class. We have here today a topic about the, uh, it's about Dr. Karen, okay, a, a, der a dermatologist. A dermatologist means a doctor who deals with uh, dermatology and the, the skin in, in particular. It is one of the uh, good issues or good, if you think about the future to be a subject specialist or to be a specialist. So one of the very, very good, uh, we say uh, parts or, or careers is to be a, a dermatologist. Anyway, business-wise, okay. Now let's listen to the introduction by Dr. Karen. Unit 3, Skin, Exercise 5, page 9. Dr. Karen Sturgis, Dermatologist. Common Skin Conditions Skin is the outer covering of the human body. It is made up of three layers. The top layer is the epidermis. The dermis lies beneath the epidermis. The deepest layer is the hypodermis. This layer stores subcutaneous fat. Abnormal skin conditions can occur when the skin is damaged, or they can be caused by factors inside the body. Here are a few common skin conditions. External causes. Contusion. A contusion is a discolored area of the skin 
caused by trauma. The discoloration occurs when blood escapes from damaged capillaries into the skin. Abrasion. An abrasion is damage to the epidermis of the skin. Since these scrapes do not usually cut into the dermis, most abrasions do not bleed. Internal causes. Acne. Acne is a common skin disease. It is caused by oils that trap skin cells in pores. Bacteria then grows. This results in raised red bumps called pimples or other imperfections of the skin. Okay, now we are going to listen again and to have some, we say, uh, some photographs to explain what we have already taken. Okay, listen again. Unit 3, Skin. Exercise 5, page 9. Dr. Karen Sturgis, Dermatologist. Common skin conditions. Skin is the outer covering of the human body. It is made up of three layers. Okay, so these are the three layers of the human skin. It's, as you can see, here we have epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous tissue. So we have these one, two, and three. Then we have, of course, the muscles, which is, uh, they are not part of the, we say, human skin. So epidermis is the outer, uh, we say layer, and uh, this is the, the parts of the uh, epidermis, then dermis here, then subcutaneous tissue, this tissue here. So these are, this is just a diagram to make things clearer to you. Okay, let's go through the, the audio. Okay. The top layer is the epidermis. The dermis lies beneath the epidermis. The deepest layer is the hypodermis. This layer stores subcutaneous fat. Abnormal skin conditions can occur when the skin is damaged, or they can be caused by factors inside the body. Here are a few common skin conditions. External causes. Contusion. Okay, so let's check the first uh, uh, issue, which is contusion. This is the first, this is the first, we say, uh, case, contusions. Okay, you remember when you were children or when you were playing uh, while you were, uh, you know, younger? So when you fall down or when you hit yourself, you have this, yes, contusion. Yes, the second one. A contusion is a discolored area of the skin caused by trauma. The discoloration occurs when blood escapes from damaged capillaries into the skin. Abrasion. An abrasion is damage to the epidermis of the skin. Since these scrapes do not usually cut into the dermis, most abrasions do not bleed. Internal causes. Acne. Acne is a common skin disease. It is caused by oils that trap skin cells in pores. Bacteria then grows. This results in raised red bumps called pimples or other imperfections of the skin. Okay. So, um, as you can see here, so these are some of the, we say, uh, some disorders, we say disorders. So this is the acne. So there it's about some oils inside the skin and they make pimples, these pimples things. I'm not a physician anyway. I'm not uh, a doctor, a physician, but I'm trying to show you in diagrams with photos, with issues to make the, the class clear to you. And of course, to learn the language at the same time. Okay, now, we have some uh, exercises. Let me uh, clear this. Let me just clear this. Uh, okay. 
So we go to the, yes. Now we have some, uh, we say, uh, questions. Number two, question number two, read the dermatologist's web page on skin conditions, then choose the correct answer. Now, this is question number one. Everybody look at question one, please, here. What is the purpose of the web page? What is the purpose? To advertise new acne treatments, to describe the parts of common conditions of the skin, to provide basic skin care information, to compare different skin types. So you can write your answer on the chat. You can write your answer if you know the answer. Yes, you can just write it on the chat. Uh, Ofran, no, unfortunately, no. Yes, Yasmin. Okay, Marwa, okay, yes, so good. Yes, it is B. The answer is B. To describe the parts, the parts and common conditions. So we talked about the parts. We talked about uh, the, uh, the three layers of the, of, the, of the skin. So we talked about these. Okay, so uh, we talked about uh, the, the three layers. And then we talked about some of the issues like the acne, like the abrasion, like the other issues related to this or some of the diseases or injuries. Okay, which, is, which of the following is not caused by external trauma to the skin? Number two, a contusion, an abrasion, a scrap, an acne. So it is D, very good. It's an acne because it's the inside. It happens as when oils, yes, uh, become or make, uh, we say, pimples in the skin. Now, three, what is true of the hypodermis? It is damaged by abrasions. Uh, it holds subcutaneous fat. It is the uh, out, uh, outermost layer of the skin, or it lies between the dermis and the epidermis. So the answer is, okay, most of you are correct. Good, good guys. So the answer is B. It holds subcutaneous fat. Very good. Okay, I think you have you have uh, very good information, good knowledge about the skin. Then now we have the vocabulary. For the vocabulary, for the vocabulary. Look at the vocabulary, match the words one to five. Yes, with the, the definitions. Okay, number one. We have uh, contusions or contusion, uh, contusion, sorry, contusion. And we have four hypodermis, skin, and abrasion. So number one is, very good, yes. Number one is B. Let me write it. So a contusion is a discolored area of a skin caused by external trauma. Good. Number two, a pore. Poor. Yes, very good. It's E. Yes, you are correct. It is a tubular structure in the skin that produces sweat. And then hypodermis. Hypodermis. Yes, it is C. Very good. 
C is the innermost layer of the skin. So this is the hypodermis. Skin, easy. Number four. Yes, good. It is A. It is the sort, the soft outer covering of the human body. And finally, abrasion is D. Good. A scrap on the dermis of the skin. Good. Yes. So number one, B, number two, E, number three, C, number four, A, number five, D. Okay. Now we are going to move again to the uh, to choose the uh, correct answers from sentence one and sentence we have uh, exercise one and exercise two. So fit, yes, read the sentence pair and fit the blanks. So we say acne and subcutaneous fat. Number A, the hypodermis is composed of, the hypodermis is composed of what? Yes, subcutaneous fat, very good. So composed of subcutaneous fat. Okay, fat. Subcutaneous fat. Number two, acne is a common disease of the skin. Epidermis and dermis. Number A, yes, epidermis, the epidermis. is the out, outermost layer of the skin. Then the hypodermis is a layer of the skin directly beneath the dermis. Now, we are going to listen now. We are going to listen to a conversation uh, between a, a doctor and a patient. Uh, they they are going to discuss some issues related to the skin. I want you to listen. We are going to listen two times and to answer the questions, true or false. Now, question number one, the man's condition is common in teenagers. So is it a true? Is it a common issue in, in teenagers or not? So true or false. The woman believes the man washes his face too often. So... Is that true or false? And the woman writes the man a prescription. Now let's read while you are listening to the uh, audio. Uh, try to answer these questions true or false. Let us listen. Exercises six and seven, page nine. So, James, it looks like, like you've developed acne. Have you heard of it before? Yeah, but I don't know much about it. Is it bad? It's not too bad. It's actually quite common in teenagers. What causes it? Oils that become trapped in the skin's pores cause it. This is why the pimples form. Can we make it go away? The best thing for you to do is to wash your face twice a day. Can you do that? Yeah. Should I use special soap? Yes, I'll give you some to take home. Is that all? Well, we can start with some topical medicine. If that doesn't work, I'll give you a prescription for some pills.
Okay, listen again. Listen again. Exercises six and seven, page nine. So, James, it looks like you've developed acne. Have you heard of it before? Yeah, but I don't know much about it. Is it bad? It's not too bad. It's actually quite common in teenagers. What causes it? Oils that become trapped in the skin's pores cause it. This is why the pimples form. Can we make it go away? The best thing for you to do is to wash your face twice a day. Can you do that? Yeah. Should I use special soap? Yes, I'll give you some to take home. Is that all? Well, we can start with some topical medicine. If that doesn't work, I'll give you a prescription for some pills. Okay. So, what do you think? Number one is number one. So we say the man's condition. It's not a man. It's a, just a, a teenager. Can is common in teenagers. So, is it true? Yeah, of course, it is true. Yes, it is true. I think we all suffered from this issue one day. Okay, so this is true. And number two, the woman believes the man washes his face too often. Yes, it is false. No. She asked him to wash his face twice a day. And alhamdulillah, as Muslims, when we pray and we have ablution, ablution we wash our faces uh, quite often, five times a day. And this is again, some, uh, some this is called a very, uh, we say very good hygiene. That means uh, our bodies or our parts of the body, especially the face, the hands, the, the feet uh, are always clean. Good. Finally, the woman writes the man a prescription. Did she write? No, false. She said, if you need in the future, I'm going to write. So true, the first one is true, the second is false, and the third one is false as well. Okay, now we have, again, the same conversation uh, between that doctor and the patient or the teenage patient. And uh, we have to fill the, the gaps of the uh, appropriate vocabulary. Now let's listen again and try to fill the vocabulary or the gaps from number one to number six. Exercises six and seven, page nine. So, James, it looks like you've developed acne. Have you heard of it before? Yes. So, James, it looks like you have developed acne. You have developed acne. Yes. Look, when they use the language here, she doesn't say, James, it looks like you have acne. No, no, developed because the acne starts very small, then it gets bigger because I, as, I, as we said, it's the oil that, you know, make these pimples. So it's development. So we don't say you have because I can see it. If I say you have acne, I know this is an acne and you know you have acne. But if I say you have developed, that means something from the inside of your body, and then it appears to the uh, outer layer of the skin. So develop. She doesn't say you have. You have developed. And this is language. Okay, number two. Yeah, but I don't know much about it. Is it bad? It's not too bad. It's actually quite common in teenagers. Yes, it's, it's not too bad. It's actually quite common. Quite common. Yes. Number three. What causes it? Oils that become trapped in the skin's pores cause it. This is why the pimples form. 
Pimples, number three. Pimples, pimples, very good. Pimples. Four. Can we make it go away? The best thing for you to do is to wash your face twice a day. Can you do that? Yes. Can we make it go away? Yes. The best thing for you. The best thing for you. Yes. To do. Yes. Is to wash your face twice a day. Can you do that? What a question. Can you do that? Yes. Yeah. Should I use special soap? Yeah. Yes. Special soap. Finally, the last one. Yes, I'll give you some to take home. Is that all? Well, we can start with some topical medicine. If that doesn't work, I'll give you a prescription for some pills. Okay, I'll, I'll. Now listen everybody, listen to the conversation again. Uh, for example, she doesn't say, uh, I will, I'll. Uh, you have developed, okay, you have developed. So she, yes, so here we have the real language. Now I want you to listen to this again and try to imagine the way they are using the language. Listen again, please. Exercises six and seven, page nine. So James, it looks like you've developed acne. Have you heard of it before? Yeah, but I don't know much about it. Is it bad? It's not too bad. It's actually quite common in teenagers. What causes it? Oils that become trapped in the skin's pores cause it. This is why the pimples form. Can we make it go away? The best thing for you to do is to wash your face twice a day. Can you do that? Yeah. Should I use special soap? Yes, I'll give you some to take home. Is that all? Well, we can start with some topical medicine. If that doesn't work, I'll give you a prescription for some pills. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, uh, in, in, in English, uh, when, when we talk, if you, um, uh, if you look at the speaker, the doctor, uh, she's talking to that, uh, we say, teenage, uh, she said, uh, we, 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 we call them sentence starters. You cannot say, John, you are sick. No, 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 no. It looks like you. It looks like you. If you look at the, uh, the, the sentence, the first sentence in here. So we say, it looks like you have developed uh, acne. It looks like. So you don't say, you have acne. No, no, no. So this is the way. This is called sentence starters you start your sentences in a very nice way in a very polite way so uh, hi james so james uh, oh hi james how are you okay sit down please uh, it looks like you have developed so in this way you start sentence starters يجب ان نتعلمها كما هي okay ليس كما نحن نفهم no لكن كما تستخدم هي we had a shekel. So this is part of language learning. Okay. Uh, also, we have, uh, we say, if, if you look here, if you look, uh, we have it in here. Uh, uh, yes, so we have here. It says, look here. Language such as, use language, for example, if you look at what, what you have is, what, what you have is, we don't say you have. It's quite common between uh, teenagers like you. So if you are talking to uh, a teenager and uh, a teenager is a person who is between 14 to 16, 17, 
So you say it's quite common between young people like you or young men or young ladies like you. So to be nice wh while you are talking to your patient. Uh, the best thing for you to do is to wash your face twice a day, at least. So here, the best thing. We don't say. Some doctors, when you, when you go to visit them, wash, you have to, this is not the way, and the face, uh, they have this frown face. No, no. So you have to be communicative, to communicate politely, politely in a nice way, in a friendly mood, friendly mood, okay? The best thing for you to do is, these are called sentence fillers. نعبي فيها الجملة. ليست فقط قواعد. لو حندرس بعض القواعد بعض شوية بعد شوية رح نأخذ القواعد. But language is not only grammar rules. Language is everything. Language is feelings. Language is communication. Language is uh, sharing. So it's not just rules. Okay. So here we have some of the issues related you have listened to them and this is the way you should you speak when you talk to your patients when you talk to your uh, maybe sick uh, because a patient is a patient a sick person is a person uh, psychologically emotionally uh, sometimes they are devastated they are very sad because of their condition so you have to be very helpful not only with prescriptions and medicine but emotionally with your language with your uh, way of talking and this is extremely important now let's move to the next part yes any questions if you have any questions okay you can talk now if uh, I'll, I'll let you if you can use your mic microphones now if, if you want to ask a question uh, if you are interested in asking anything you can ask now yes any questions and you can practice your language with me. It's a good chance to, to practice some language with me. It's okay if you make mistakes. It's not a big deal, but you learn. Yes, no questions. Are You are afraid of talking? <laughs> You're afraid of talking. Yes, but, but one day you should talk. You are going to talk. Yes, this is part of the business. Yes. Uh, okay, we are going to talk about that later. I'm going to finish finish the class. Then we talk about the other issues, the technical things, the exams, whatever. Now I have a class. It's more important than your question. Okay, the class is more important. We finish, then we talk about other parts of the issue. Okay, now um, let's move to the second part of the class today. Okay. Today we are going to deal with Chapter three in the grammar book. Chapter three in the grammar book. It, it talks about or deals with present perfect and past simple. So what's the difference between present perfect? Uh, okay, I was better, okay, because, um, just a minute, because I used to have this mic, okay. I'll make it clearer, okay? So this one. Okay, if the, the voice was better, so we can do it like this. Okay, now, it's, is it better now? Okay, okay. We have something in, in English uh, as a language that we don't have it in Arabic, okay. هذا الزمن اللي هو ال present perfect المضارع التام we don't have it in Arabic in, in Arabic في اللغة العربية we have فعل ماضي okay فعل مضارع فعل أمر هكذا اللغة العربية we have ماضي مضارع أمر يذهب ذهب اذهب that's it 
So we have three, three tenses. عندنا ثلاثة أزمنة مضارع وماضي وأمر. In English now, in English we have three tenses. We have present, past, and future. But with the present we have five tenses. يعني مع الزمن المضارع we have five types of present simple. يعني في في المضارع عندنا خمسة أزمنة. We have present simple. We have present continuous. We have present uh, perfect continuous and we have present sorry present simple present continuous present perfect present perfect continuous and present perfect continuous passive مضارع بسيط مضارع مستمر مضارع تام مضارع تام مستمر ومضارع تام مستمر مبني للمجهول so this is in only in, in present simple Past simple, الماضي البسيط. We have past simple, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous, and past perfect continuous passive. ماضي بسيط, ماضي مستمر, ماضي تام, ماضي تام مستمر, وماضي تام مستمر مبني للمجهول. For the future, again, we have five tenses. Future simple, future continuous, future perfect, future perfect continuous, and future perfect continuous. Passive, نفس الكلام. مستقبل بسيط, مستقبل مستمر, مستقبل تام, مستقبل تام مستمر, ومستقبل تام مستمر مبني المجهول. It looks very complicated, but it is not. By language, by listening, you will have these 15 parts of speech. 15, which are the five tenses or five parts of present, five parts of the past, and five parts of the future. هذه الاستخدامات للضرورة لإيصال معنى. Today we are going to talk to talk about the present perfect and past simple. في العربية في لغتنا العربية we have past simple. عندنا ماضي بسيط. كيف رح نفهم ال 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 المضارع التام؟ شنو شنو دخل المضارع تام بماضي بسيط؟ Okay. To know this, we have what's called the time axis. رح أرسم الآن على الشاشة ما يسمى ب ال السهم الزماني أو سهم الزمني. حناخذ كبر شوية الشاشة من أجل توضيح الأمور خليها بهذا الشكل. Okay, so I have I'm going to draw now the okay. We have this called the axis of time. هذا عندنا السهم الماضي هنا past وهنا في الوسط Present, المضارع, وهناك في جهة اليمين اللي هو the future أو المستقبل. This is called the time axis. هذا يسمى المحور الزماني. هكذا يتحرك الزمن من الماضي إلى المضارع إلى المستقبل. One way movement. يعني special except in science fiction ما عدا في الخيال العلمي نذهب إلى الزمن من الزمن نرجع إلى الماضي. This is only science fiction, but in real life, the axis yevda bihada shakil. So we go from the past to the present, then from the present to the future. Okay, so this is a present here. We have present simple. Kulil anwa al mudara huna. But past something happened unfinished. Indi al madi li huwa something happened unfinished. Intaha. أو ما يسمى fixed fixed time in the past يعني ينتهي الماضي في لحظة محددة في الماضي مثلا نقول last week مثلا خلينا نغير اللون نقول last week or in 1999 في 99 last month مثلا أو نقدر نقول two years ago كل هذه الأشياء في الماضي وانتهت في وقت محدد Okay, what is the present perfect? عندما يتحرك الزمان من الماضي ويصل إلى المضارع يصل يقترب وينتهي هنا يعني very too close ينتهي من لحظات ينتهي من ثواني 
يعطى بالماضي بالمضارع التام يسمى هنا تام بيرفكت بريزنت بيرفكت فالبريزنت بيرفكت عندنا تو تايبس من البريزنت بيرفكت معنيان تو فانكشنز اللي هو بيرفكشن اوف ان اكشن يعني تمام الحدث if I ask you did you see علي أسألك سؤال هنا did you see علي سؤال بسيط جدا لكن في الماضي البسيط did هتقول لي yes I did أسألك مرة ثانية when was that متى when أو خلينا نشيل كلمة وين واز ذات نسألك كلمة واحدة وين إمتى شفت العلي إمتى وين فأنت تحب تبين لي إنه شفته قبل شوية قبل ثانية قبل دقيقة كيف مر أوكي هذا كيف مر قبل شوية ليست زمن في في اللغة العربية لأننا قلنا مضارع وماضي وأمر يا أما ماضي شفته انتهى أو مضارع أو فعل أمر In English now في الإنجليزية لا حتبين لي بالضبط إنه أنت شفته قبل شوية حسألك وين حتقول لي I I've I've معناها I have في السبوكن في الكلام مختصرة I've just seen him فكلمة just معناها توه توه I've just seen him إذا هنا كأنه حدث من الآن إذا شنو هنا Perfection of an action. أنت متأكد شفته مر أكيد شفته. I've just seen him. كيف شفته؟ إذا هنا yes. بعد the perfection of an action عندي عندي كلمة the action اللي هو اللي هو short time ago. Short time ago or عفوا مش short time ago. هذه perfection of an action وهو experience the present perfect yes of the kriyat so if i ask you if i ask you uh so on yes it's a kalam and the kriyat so if uh yes have you ever very good yes had a zoom of an zoom user low samahat أو لو سمحتي change your name لا أحب أي طالب يدخل لي باسم يعني فضائي زوم يوزر شنو زوم يوزر في عشرة مليار واحد يستخدمون الزوم يوزرز أعطيني اسمك لو سمحت أو سمحتي لأن لا أحب أن يكون طالب أنا وجهي واضح واسمي واضح وكل الطلبة واضحين لا أحب الأسماء المستعارة من فضلك change your name أنا شفتك في البداية أو شفتك كنت أحاول بعدين لا إذا أي شخص راح يدخل إلى القاعة هذه قاعة محاضرة بغير اسمه الحقيقي سأضطر أن أعمل له بلوك والبلوك مش حتدخل إلا بإيميل مني unfortunately وعملية معقدة فطيب أحسن أوكي okay. so please please write down your real name we are we have nothing to hide أوكي okay. this is not a secret society or secret room أوكي okay. so this is just a classroom experiences مع التجارب Okay, if I ask you a, a question, okay, yes, okay, anyway, welcome, Ragad, thank you, thank you for your response, thank you. Now you are Ragad, a nice name, and thank you for being with us. Okay, experiences في التجارب عندما تحدث شيء في الماضي, but you still remember, يعني عندك تجربة سفر لكن ما زالت تذكر المكان, تجربة تناول طعام غريب, مثلا سوشي, ساشيمي, Chinese food مرة أكلت أو أكلتي في سفر الحدث انتهى لكن تتذكر أوكي تتذكر مثلا رحلة تتذكر زردة تتذكر حفلة مثلا the action is over الحفلة انتهت الزردة انتهت but you still remember فال experiences مثلا نسألك سؤال have you ridden a camel before have you ridden a camel 
مش هاف يو مثلا دريفن ا كار لا هاف يو ريدن ا كامو فالتجربه تكون شيء يعني غريب هل عمرك ركبت جمل مثلا هاف يو ريدن ا هورس بيفور فهنا تقول لي الاجابه حتقول يس اي هاف او نو الاجابه نو اي هافنت اذا يا اما نتكلم عن perfection of an action انتهى الحدث منذ لحظات منذ حاجات بسيطة اوكي okay. مثلا نقول my mother has just finished cooking معنى ما تدخل إلى البيت وتشم رائحة الطعام معناها the food is ready الطعام جاهز the cooking is finished عملية الطبخ انتهت action is over but it is still the smell is going on الرائحة لسه مستمرة بالحركة اوكي okay. او يوتان اوف ذا 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 غاز اطفات النار على الطنجره بس ذا بان از ستيل هوت اوكي ذا بان از ستيل هوت صح ينطفت الحراره بس ات از ستيل ما زال الاكشن يقع هنا او شورت تايم اجو اذا ذا بريزنت بيرفكت لينكس يربط ذا باست وذ ذا بريزنت وذ تو ثينجز بيرفكشن اوف ان اكشن نمبر 1 to you remember the the effect يعني وقع الحدث لكن تاثيره موجود الذاكره موجوده الذكريات موجوده اوكي okay. you painted you, you you got your paints you you got your walls painted واحد عمليه الطلاء او زواج الحائط بعد ما يكمل العمل the action is over but the smell تبقى رائحة الزواج رائحة الطلاء. So here the action is over but its effect is going on. حناخذ هذه كلها شوية شوية خطوة خطوة وقلنا أحسن طريقة لتعلم الجرامر is by listening. When you listen you develop everything you can. Of course when you listen to real situations you for example you watch news وإحنا قلنا One of the best issues is to go to قلنا عليه البرنامج إذا تتذكروا الموقع اللي هو اسمه BBC Learning BBC Learning English ونزلناه في ال في الموقع Learning English تدخل عليه BBC Learning English في برنامج اسمه Six Minute English هو اسمه Six Minute حتلقى في الشاشة مواضيع جميلة فيها صوت ناس يتكلمون فيها بي دي اف ملف بي دي اف او تفتح السبتايتل عنده سبتايتل يفتح لك ماذا يقولون so you can read and you can listen at the same time for six minutes احنا قلنا every day I want you to listen for 20 minutes 20 دقيقة يوميا ستشكروني عليها كل عمركم ان شاء الله الطويل اوكي okay. now let's get down to business Okay, so this is unit three, present perfect. Now, present perfect. When we talk about something that happened in the past, had a tarif taban, but we don't specify precisely when it happened. Perhaps we don't know, or it is not important to say when it happened. We use the present perfect. Okay, a French yachtsman has broken the record for sailing around the world single-handed. I have complained about the traffic before. Even huna, the tarif قد يبدو شوية مختلف عن التعريف اللي قدمته أنا. But this is language. هذه اللغة من تجربتي الطويلة مع اللغة نقدمها بالأشياء اللي يفهمها طالبنا العربي. So a French Yatsman has broken the record. هنا مش broke the record أي حطم الرقم لا. طبعا ترجمتها في اللغة العربية إنه متسابق يخرج أو سائق يخرج فرنسي حطم الرقم القياسي. بس بالقيادة حول العالم ب بيد واحدة ممكن يعني من ذوي من ذوي الهمم. إحنا ما نقول من ذوي الإعاقة. إحنا نقول people with special needs. Okay. أو بالعربية نقول من ذوي الهمم 
لا نستخدم معاق كلمة معيبة يعني يقول لك والله إجا المعاق مشت المعاقة فلان معاق نو 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 نقول ذوي الهمم اللغة الملافظ يجب أن تكون لطيفة أوكي okay. إذن a French man has broken so has broken in English means either short time ago يعني قبل شوية أو نأكد أنه هو فرنسي وعند يد واحدة فللتأكيد على الحدث has broken we say the, the record بهذا الشكل uh, okay yes uh, uh, okay Lina what do you think if you don't mind I suggest that one day we can make a conversation together okay Lina Okay, so uh, before I go to Marwa, anyway, just a minute. Okay, guys, I have, <laughs> I have, do you know how many students uh, I have? Uh, I have got 1,600 students, 1,620 students. So if I have a conversation with all of you, <laughs> I need all the time of the week, <laughs> including Friday, of course. So the idea is, um, if you want to have a chit chat, I asked, uh, I, I'll give a time if you want to, to, to talk, so we can talk about this. It's okay. But a conversation with all of you guys, the, six, the, the, the 1600, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just one, 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 one lecturer, one instructor, and you, you are more 1,600. Okay. Yes, um, Marwa, would you like to ask anything? Okay, uh, could you just make yourself uh, self clearer? Uh, you can talk, Lina, if you want. Use your mic. Yes? Yes, you can talk. Yeah, go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, anyway, don't want to talk. Okay, let, it, let, let us finish. Yes, Lina, Lina, okay. Yes, can you hear me? Of course, yes, I can, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that you got a lot of students. I thought that we are only 15. No, <laughs> you said with all, yes, okay, 15, 15 now, it's okay. But the idea, because your question says, uh, conversation together. So this is not the issue. Okay, you can talk now. It's okay. Yes? Okay, I'm sorry. So if you have a question, do you have a question, Lina? Well, about the grammar. Yes, I, I don't like to call it grammar. I, I prefer to call it language. Okay, because okay. grammar the language. It's a very strange word. Okay, so because okay. I, so we, we, we prefer language. We learn language. Grammar, what's the grammar? Okay. So it's it's a language. Okay, yes, yeah, so what about the what's about the language, uh, Lina? Well, um, on the exams, we have a question about the grammar or what you call it, language. Yes, as, as we, are, we are talking here. Look at the examples. For example, <clears throat> sorry, in front of you, the French Yasmin has broken the record for sailing around the world single-handed. So that's a sentence. You might have it oh. like something like this in the exam. The exam is, we say, an end point. يعني ال exam هو النقطة اللي تأتي بعد الجملة. إحنا خلينا نفهم الجملة. بعدين النقطة سهلة. Okay. Yes, I mean, like um, on the exams, um, will you like bring a question? Uh, says like. Uh, well, we'll, we'll talk about that. And... We'll talk about that. Yes, it's the same. It's multiple choices. So I give the sentence. The verb is missing. Then we have four verbs, A, B, C, D. Then you make a tick. Yes. That's it, as usual, okay? Thank you, Tiffany. I wish if I had the chance to give you the four skills, the four skills, reading, writing, listening, speaking. This is real language. Reading, writing, listening, four skills. Unfortunately, I don't, I can't. The number is huge and your exams are too fast. So we don't have time to examine 1,600 students for skills. Maybe in the future, I don't know. 
but not with that number, not alone. We need a team. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> an, army, an army of teachers. You need at least uh, more than, yes, you need 10 teachers because even 10 teachers for, for skills, you need more than 30 teachers actually, just to have all of the four skills for all the students. Okay. Thank you for your uh, way. And the way you are speaking is really good. Your level is really good. So your pronunciation is good. This is my evaluation. Just we, you. You, talk, you, talk, you talk shortly, but it sounds you have a very good uh, English. So no problem. Okay. Now I have complained about the traffic before. So here are the second sentence. I have complained. So what I didn't say I complained, I have, it means I make it sure that I have complained to make sure. Okay, when we use the present number uh, B, uh, look at number B everybody. When we use the present perfect, it suggests some kind of connection, connection between what, happened in the past and the present time. And this is what I told you about. about. It is a connection. It is a bridge, Kubri, a bridge to link the past with the present. For example, I've washed my hands so that I can help you with, you, with cooking. So for example, you see your mom or your brother or sister or father cooking. And you say, okay, okay, I washed. Washed means what? I, I don't have water in here, but look at my hands. Let's imagine this is this is alcohol. This is but but this let's imagine this is water. I have washed. The action has just finished. Okay, and look at the alcohol has evap has evaporated. So that's has. Then I've washed my hands so that I can help you with the cooking. So here, it means to link the past with the present. It means the action has finished shortly, very short time ago. We, can, we can't go ahead with the meeting. Why? We can't go ahead with the meeting because very few have shown, have shown uh, any interest. So we cannot finish, we cannot, finish or go ahead in the meeting or keep talking because uh, quite few or very few people have shown any interest. Now, the connection with the present may also be that something happened recently. Recently, as I said, short time ago with a consequence of the present. I found the letter you were looking for. Here it is. So I'm looking for my eyeglasses and say, okay, doctor, I have found it. The, the, the eyeglasses you are, uh, you are looking for. Here it is. Oh, sorry, here they are because glasses. Okay, here they are. Uh, I have found your flash. Okay, you are looking for. Okay, so the, here it is. So I have found recently. My ceiling has fallen and the kitchen is flooded. Come quickly. So the wife is talking to her husband. Yes, uh, she has a problem with the water. My ceiling has fallen and the kitchen is flooded. My ceiling has fallen. Anyway, this is just maybe she, she's exaggerating a little bit. Okay. Or maybe it's true. If it is, uh, we have a hurricane or whatever. So this might be a, a true case. Okay. When we talk about how long, how long, and let me change the color here. How long? an existing situation has lost. For example, they've grown, they've grown such a lot since we last saw them. Then, 
if we talk about an action, even if we don't give precise length of time. If we talk about an action, even if we don't give precise length of time. Okay. يعني مثلا you visit a farm درست يعني عندكم احد عنده مزرعه زرتوا هذه المزرعه فكان يعني قبل مده قبل كم شهر فكانت فيها يعني لسه الاشجار ضعيفه وكذا وزرتوها الان في هذه الفتره من كم شهر ولحد الان امور كثيره تغيرت هنا يعني حنقول نتكلم عن many many changes حدثت في هذه الفترة لما زرتها الزيارة الثانية تفاجأت لقيت مثلا أو ورود أشجار ثانية نوع من العشب مثلا لون for example green lawn or, or they have uh, they have grown lawns فكانت عبارة عن مكان جميل فتفاجأت فحتقولون they've grown such a lot since we last saw them يعني من آخر مرة شفناهم they have grown such a lot now Prices have fallen sharply over the past six months. Even the number of the have fallen sharply. And خفضة إن شاء الله تنخفض الأسعار anyway. We are hoping. Okay. So prices have fallen sharply over the past six months. Even في هذه six months prices, uh, yes, uh, came down. We've recently started to talk to work. Instead of taking, uh, sorry, we've recently started to walk to work instead of taking the bus. Even uh, maybe uh, the weather is nice and the distance between our homes and the work is not that long. So we've recently started to walk. So we started to walk to work instead of taking the bus or instead of driving or instead, instead Uh, taking our cars. So here, something recently happened. هناك a change. نتكلم على تغيير. Okay. بالنسبة, uh, for example, when we talk about present perfect, an action has been repeated a number of times. مثلا, if I say, they've been to Chile three times. They've been. Okay. معناه هذا نسأل إذا نسأل سؤال Where is Ali مثلا سؤال بسيط الإجابة راح يكون عندي شقين هنقول He has been to the supermarket أو هنقول He has gone to the supermarket. What's the difference between the two? Where is Ali? Okay, Ali has been to the supermarket. Where is Ali? He has been. He has been to the supermarket. Two, Ali has gone to the supermarket. Has been, معناها, he went and came back. يعني he has been. أي ذهب إلى السوبرماركت ثم عاد. Where where is Ali? He has been. Where is Ali? He has been to Mecca. معناها he went for Hajj or Umrah. He went to Mecca for Hajj or Umrah, and then he came back. معناها ذهاب والعودة. He has been to. He has gone now. ذهب ولم يعد not yet so he has gone to the supermarket هو ذهب للسوبر ماركت ولسه غادي where is Ali? he has gone to Mecca okay معناها ذهب لمكة ونفهم انه he is still there ما زال هنا إذن when we talk about they've been to Chile three times they've been معناها Chile اللي هي دولة تشيلي In South America, so they went to Chile and or Chile in, in English or Chile in Arabia. ذهبوا إلى شيلي ورجعوا ذهبوا ورجعوا ذهبوا ورجعوا three times. Okay, بهذا الشكل. So we cannot say 
they've gone to Chile three times. شنو they've gone three times؟ يعني راحوا وكيف ثلاث مرات راحوا يعني. اوكي فلازم عندما يذهب يرجع تعتبر مره يذهب يرجع اثنين يذهب يرجع ثلاثه. فسو لانجويج لازم تكون دقيقه. They've been to Mecca several times. They have been. They have been. They've been to Mecca several times. ما شاء الله. عدة مرات معناها ذهبوا وعادوا ذهبوا وعادوا ذهبوا وعاد several from five to seven أو من from four to seven several معناها ما بين الأربعة إلى السبعة okay they have gone no معناها ذهب وبقى ولم يعود لحد الآن I've often wished I'd learn to read music إذا هنا عندي wish I've often I I've often I have معناها I've معناها I have often wished I'd I'd معناها I had هنتكلم عليها لما نجي في الماضي التام إن شاء الله learn to read يعني ال wish لما تقول I wish أتمنى عادة اللمنية معناها حدثت في الدماغ قبل ما تتكلمها لما تقول أتمنى أن 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 أطير أتمنى أن أكون مليونير فالتمني في الدماغ في العقل ثم يطلع على اللسان معناها يحدث في الدماغ اولا ثم يكون حدث فيعتبر ماضي فنقول اي ويش اي هاد لاب اتمنى لو تعلمت قراءه النوطه الموسيقيه اتمنى لو تعلمت السباحه عندما كنت صغيرا اتمنى لو ذهبت ودرست اربع لغات عندما كنت في ابتدائي اذا هنا لو اوكي لايك اف لكن اي ويش مع الوش اوكي إذا حنجي نأخذ الـ 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 الأخيرة الحالة الأخيرة طبعا وذا اكسرسايزز مع التطبيقات مع التمارين يصبح هذا الكلام كله سهل جدا حنجي نتكلم عن الأخيرة الباس سمبل حنجي نتكلم عن الباس سمبل باس سمبل اللي هي الـ E والـ F والـ G هذه كلها تتكلم عن الباس سمبل ملخص الباس سمبل it means happened something or an action which something an action that happened لازم يكون حدث and finished لازم يكون انتهى ايضا yes in a fixed time in a fixed time in the past الماضي مثل ما رسمنا السهم قبل شوية يقع وينتهي في مكان محدد في الماضي dinosaurs disappeared millions of years ago or dinosaurs had instincted instincted أي انقررت millions of years ago قبل ملايين محددة ملايين محددة okay إذن I started to get the pains three weeks ago. إذن يسألك الطبيب تسأله When did you start uh, getting or, or when when did you start to get these pains? هيقول لك I had them three weeks ago. أو بدأ الألم three weeks. Three weeks معناها fixed time. I've had the pains for three weeks now. عندما يبدأ الألم يبدا الالم امتى اول مره حصلت عندك مثلا الستروك النوبه القلبيه اي هاد ات 1 مانث اجو اي جت النوبه وانتهت قبل شهر لكن نربط الماضي بالمضارع التام لا معناها وقعت وبدات تقع عده مرات لحد الان ليس وقعت وانتهت لا لكن بدات تقع ايف هاد ذا بينز فور 3 ويكس ناو فصاحبنا مش بدا الالم وانتهى مثلا I'm pointing to my tooth أشر على أحد أسناني لكن بدأ قبل ثلاثة أسابيع واستمر I've had the pains for three weeks now for three months now When did you arrive in Britain? إمتى وصلت؟ Last week, last month, last year إمتى وصلت إلى بريطانيا؟ السؤال يجي مرة ثانية How long have you been in Britain? 
تمليك في بريطانيا معناه وصل في بريطانيا وعاش في بريطانيا فترة فإذا السؤال حسب الحاجة متى وصلت last month last week last year متى بدأ الألم قبل أسبوع قبل عشر أيام أمس قبل يومين لا السؤال كم استمر الألم I have I've had the pains for three weeks I yes uh, I've been in Britain for three months I've been إذا حسب السؤال تكون الإجابة سؤال عن نقطة في الماضي fixed when did this happen okay فحنقول uh, I was born in 1998 I was born in the year 2000 إذا ولدت في سنة مش حتقعد تولد من سنة 2000 لحد الآن so something happened and finished okay إذا نسألك when did you or when was or when did when did your father build the house متى بنى البيت هتقول لي my father built the house built my father built the house five years ago قبل خمس سنوات انتهى البناء خلاص انتهى البيت كامل نسألك سؤال ثاني how long you've been there كم لكم في البيت We've been there for three years. صحيح كمل البناء قبل خمس سنوات لكن احنا نعيش فيه منذ ثلاثة. We've been there for three years. إذا هناك يختلف البناء انتهى قبل خمسة لكن احنا لينا ثلاث سنوات أي منذ ثلاث سنوات ولحد الآن. فإذا الـ past simple you have to make a difference between past simple it means fixed time in the past and present perfect it links يربط the past with the present. Okay, any questions? I had in the ASOR. Any questions? I don't want to change. This is just to, to talk about the rules, but you have to practice the language. Any questions? I had in the ASOR. I had the ASOR. Okay, no questions. Let's move to the next page. Hanabda bit tamarin. وهذه هي اللي حتكون تشبهها في الامتحانات في هذا الشكل exercises choose a verb with either the present or perfect uh, sorry the present perfect or past simple yes choose إذا نفس السؤال قبل شوية أحد من زملائكم ممكن لي نسألتني about the questions in the exam like this راح يكون في أمثلة في جمل وفي فعل وأربع خيارات لهذا الفعل and you choose the correct one لأنه إحنا حناخذ لسه حناخذ the present perfect وحناخذ the perfect continuous وحناخذ the future فحناخذ أزمنة كثيرة فيجب أن تنتبهون على الجملة الجملة هي التي تحدد الحل الصحيح Okay Now number 3.1 حنبدأ A research has shown that cycling can help patients overcome their illnesses. Cycling. A. Al. Rukub al darajat. Two. The rabbit. Al arnab. Just in my garden. One day last week. Last week. Fixed. ممكن تستخدمون المايك او تستخدمون الشات حسب ما يعجبكم للحل. Okay. If you want to have, if you want to talk or you can write the right answer as you like. So the rabbit. Yes. حنشون حنقول just in my garden one day last week. ظهر واختفى خلص fixed. So, hangul what? And the fal, the huwa, appear, zahara. Kif rahikul, the rabbit just appeared or has appeared, fi raikum. Lakin huwa fil mal, fixed. Hatkun, la mish disappeared. Khal yadhar ba'dien yaktafi. Hangul appeared, yes. Okay, appeared. Very good.
3 with this promotion promotion معناها الترقية I feel that I a turning point in my career في هذه الترقية I feel that I الفعل هو reach a turning point in my career وصلت إلى انعطافة مهمة في حياتي أو في مجال عملي Yes. لا إذا هنا كيف وصل لها هنقول have reached لماذا have reached because I have طبعا ممكن تكتب بهذا الشكل I've reached يعني هو يخبرنا أنه كيف وصل بهذه الترقية بهذه الزيادة كيف وصلت أنا إلى العطافة كيف حققت إنجاز إذا something happened short time ago okay oh no my car oh no my car disappear فجاء وتفاجأ بحدوث شيء اللي هي اختفاء السيارة كيف راح تكون لا في اللحظة 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 حصلت منذ ثواني Oh no My car حتقولين Has disappeared كيف اختفت كانت موجودة has disappeared كيف اختفت؟ يعني شنو معناها؟ معناها مثلا وقف سيارته للحظة نزل لصيدلية مثلا دقيقة نزل سأل دكان ورجع إذا لم تختفي في وقت ماضي نو 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 كيف اختفت؟ كيف سرقت؟ كيف تم تحويلها من مكانها؟ إذا هنا has disappeared تخيلوا الموقف واستعملوا القاعدة Okay, quiet early, quiet early in the negotiations, they to lower the prices. Yes, they agreed. Quiet early in the negotiations, في بداية المفاوضات, وافقوا على تخفيض الأسعار. In, واضحة جدا هذه. In 1789, uh, 88, he, his last great work in Vienna. Al-fi'l right. Sana muhaddada, it's easy. He wrote, kataba, muhaddada, bi waqt muhaddad, fixed, hadi fixed. There isn't much more to do now that we, the main problem. الفعل هو solve, يحل. لا, لأن يقول لك now, الآن, الآن, منذ لحظات, that we've solved. معناها have solved okay throughout the summer of 1980 Malcolm to divide his time between London and New York هنا محددة 1990. The verb is continue. Then, yes, Angulo continued.
Number nine, when he was 13, his parents to the United States. Yes, Hadi fixed time. Moved. ليش؟ لأن عندما كان في الثالثة عشرة خلاص يعني انتهى الحدث happened and finished Okay, this is the way we do إن شاء الله in the midterm or in the final uh, واحد من زملائكم سأل إمتى النصفي النصفي سيحدد إن شاء الله يعني تقريبا ستأخذون أول امتحان نصفي بعد خمس أو ستة أسابيع من الحصة الأولى يعني ممكن بعد أربعة أسابيع من الآن يعني حيكون امتحان نصفي حيكون فيه اعلان من القسم ان شاء الله بهذا الشكل. اوكي اذا كان ان شاء الله مشت الامور وتم الاعلان حيكون حنحدد نسبه اللي خاش في الامتحان من الدروس اللي اخذناها هذا كله ان شاء الله يتحدد بحضوركم and you have to to attend the classes الحضور اليومي ومعرفه ومتابعه الجلوسري في كل حصه بحصتها يعني مثلا الجلوسري اللي اللي الكلمات اللي جاءت هنا اللي هي كلها سهله جدا ابيدرمس ودارمس هايبيدرمس اكني كلها موجوده وين؟ في الجلوسري في اخر الكتاب فكل حصه تتابعون اربعه خمسه اربعه خمسه من الكلمات هذا جلوسري مثلا هذه اكني شوفوا اكني موجودة abrasion موجودة كلمة abrasion abrasion هنا abrasion is a wound resulting from minor damage to the epidermal layer of the skin تعريف واضح وسهل تقدرون تحفظوه acne is a human skin disease where oil becomes trapped in pores causing raised red bumps and other uh, imperfections of the skin ليس مطلوب منكم تحفظوه لكن عندما ترون التعريف تعرفون انه هذا هو التعريف. اوكي؟ حتكون هناك تعريف لن تكتبوا اي تعريف، لن يكون هناك كتابه تعريف، لكن سياتي التعريف ناقص الكلمه. انت تختار الكلمه الصحيحه، نعطيك التعريف انا. Is a human skin disease where oil becomes trapped in pores causing raised red bumps and other imperfections of the skin. احط لك abrasion، احط لك adrenal gland مثلا. وحط لك أكني فتختار أكني بس هذه هي just like that okay yes any questions أحد عنده أي سؤال بالنسبة لبقية التمارين the rest you can do them ممكن تعملوها أنتو you can just practice them لأن اللي همني إنه اللي هو أنتو لستم طلبة لغة إنجليزية أنتو طلبة طب فنحتاج فقط إنه نعرف اللغة الصحيحة okay uh, يعني uh, just uh, uh, يعني uh, بهذا الشكل just uh, just to, to check the if you want to check them في هناك الموديل انسر موجود في نهاية الكتاب you can check your answers okay any questions أحد عنده أي سؤال أو أحد عنده أي سؤال إذا كان عندكم أي سؤال okay طبعا حتكون الحصة موجودة على اليوتيوب وحيتم بعث الرابط إن شاء الله كالعادة أعطوني ساعتين وإن شاء الله تكون على اليوتيوب Thank you for being with me, inshallah. I, uh, I hope that you have enjoyed your time and learned something. And inshallah, see you next class. All of you well and in good health. Ma'as salamah.